One of the areas I think about a lot now is because uh, of the economy is how much um, this economy and the drive to consume and grow fuels probably one of the deepest false refuges we take. This, this addiction to consuming. We have it on many levels. I mean, many, many, many of us have food addictions. It's the earliest way that we can try to soothe ourselves when we're upset. So that's, you know, we can see that one big time. But then, in general, this economy we're, we're in would crash if there was more people having a sense of enough. Gratitude and our economy don't go together. If more of us felt a comfort, a comfort with what we have, if we didn't feel such a need to keep replacing things or having yet the next model of the iPhone or whatever it is, um, if we didn't have that, that grasping in us to try to feel better and enjoy life through acquisition, through possessions, the economy would falter. Somebody wrote, the economy would crash if even a small percent more of, t of the time we lived with a sense of enough. And then there's that story of an executive who quits the fast track to have more time to spend with his possessions. <laughs> so, so I'm mentioning the culture because the culture is part of what keeps us on that wheel where we're trying to in some way feed an addiction, trying to feel better about something rather than the one place we can be that allows us to experience gratitude, which is presence. As long as there's a sense of, I need more of this, something's missing, something's wrong, we cannot arrive in the presence that gives rise to gratitude. Mm -hmm.